Welcome at Atelier Marie Cunique, a maker's podcast. Uh, my name is Marieke and in this podcast I will talk mainly about stitching and knitting. Um, if that is interesting to you, please keep watching. Hello and welcome, a very warm welcome to all of you. If you are a new viewer, uh, well, uh, I hope you enjoy your stay. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. And I hope uh, this episode will be uh, of interest again. Let me first start with uh, wishing you all the best for 2022. Um, I stayed at home last night. Um, because, well, my uh, husband uh, had his days off at uh, Christmas, so uh, he had to uh, work a late shift uh, last night. And my uh, son and me uh, stayed at home. And listening to the top 2000 music list here in the Netherlands, that's a that's, uh, tradition here. Every year uh, you can vote on your favorite numbers uh, or your favorite music to uh, hope to get uh, them into the list and uh, last uh, week or two weeks um, every day there will be uh, uh, music from that list until 12 o'clock uh, last night when the number one uh, Bohemian Rhapsody <laughs> was played so yeah and uh, at the beginning of the night, I decided uh, what to do. Uh, I could, of course, do knitting, but I decided I wanted to do some stitching instead. So I made this little stitch work to celebrate uh, the new year and to hopefully, with the little piece duff, uh, it will... Uh, give a message that I would so much <laughs> like a lot of people I think hope there will be uh, peace in this world because yeah the way things are now I hate the idea of uh, men women and children murdered because terrible ideas of some so yeah I don't want to go into uh, much more but uh, peace I hope there will be this year Anyway, let's move on to the, the things I would like to talk about. Um, about the episodes, uh, I have some plans, but to, to more structure them more, so there will be more segments again. Uh, like I did a few years ago, I made a segment solely uh, about uh, knitting and a segment about uh, sewing, and so there will be... Uh, screens in between so uh, and I will be trying to put time codes in again so if you don't like uh, stitching and you only come here for the knitting part you can uh, go directly to that part of the the, the episode this is uh, the new year's episode it's episode 11 uh, I will be counting counting uh, the counting, counting of the episodes will go on, so this will, uh, the next one will be 12. 
as I did before, I normally don't say uh, which day it is because I never know when I have the time to uh, edit. I decided I, I'm not going to push myself to um, record an episode every week. Sometimes it will uh, be uh, more weeks in a month I will uh, record a set episode and sometimes it will only be one maybe. So yeah, you have to, uh, if you would like to know when I upload a video, then my only suggestion would be to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because then you will get notified when I upload a new video. That's, uh, that would help my um, channel enormous as well. So if you would like to do that, that would help me a lot and I will be very grateful. Uh, but uh, yeah, that also goes for likes. And um, if you want to leave a comment, I always enjoy reading all the comments you leave and I try to um, reply to each and every one because that's my connection with you, the viewer. Um, so yeah. Last night I uh, did some stitching as, as I showed you. Um, and before that I told you uh, in the last episode about the uh, stitching book I started. And I made a little recording about uh, well, how far I am now at the moment. As you can see, I have made a few pages. I show them while I'm talking to you. Um, yeah, and I have a lot of fun doing those things. So I will be uh, keep doing them and I will be sharing them in next episodes. So you can... Uh, see a bit of what I'm doing every uh, every time. Um, what would I like to talk about next? Well, I showed you my stitching book and the only thing I would like to talk about uh, crafting wise in this uh, episode is my latest uh, knitting project. I cast on a new project. A few weeks back I watched the uh, podcast of Daki and Daki is I believe a Sri Lankan woman who lives in uh, a, a very rural place. I hope I pronounce it well. So I am Marike. I'm from the Netherlands so excuse me for my Dutch English but yeah sometimes I um, know the word but I don't exactly know uh, the pr pronunciation so I hope you uh, forgive me for that. Uh, she lives in a tiny, f in, in a forest, in a, a house in the middle of a forest. And she is married with a Dutch uh, guy, which also is <laughs> very nice to know. Um, and I love her podcast because she, um, the way she talks about her fiber practice and her knitting and her knowledge uh, of uh, fibers and yarns and is so wonderful and yeah I really enjoy watching her so if you never have seen her before the links of everything I talk about of course are down below in the description box so you can visit her um, but Daki talked about her love of knitting with uh, unspun yarn and I also do like uh, to knit with unspun yarn I have a collection of uh, Nutiden uh, yarns uh, collected over the years because I uh, follow also uh, um, Caroline Henkelius from uh, Höner och Eier, who is the producer of Nutiden yarn. I talked about her before, I believe, so I'm not going in depth into uh, that, but I do love her yarns. Um, it's unspun, it's uh, made of colored yarn, which are uh, prepped together, which gives the, the yarns a, a beautiful depth. And that's why I like to um, knit with it. I knitted my Felix cardigan with it. And um, that time I can, uh, combined the uh, knitted in yarn with a thread of um, kit silk haze from Rowan. 
um, but I wanted something to try out more. I wanted to have the look of the um, the how do I want to say it the um, woolly quality of the yarn. And that's what Daki also talked about. And she com combined it with, and I don't exactly know uh, which yarn it is. So I will put it down here. It's a very thin uh, yarn and it gives uh, the nutid and a bit of structure. Or the, she also uses other uh, unspun yarns. So it gives the unspun yarn a little bit st more structure. And um, yeah. I was watching my collection of Nutiden yarn and while I'm talking I will uh, again put a little uh, uh, film uh, next to me where you can see a bit of my, uh, my collection. And I decided uh, I wanted to knit with the, uh, it's a, a bit of a wine red color uh, Nutiden. And I decided I wanted to combine it with something special. And the something special is a yarn. And I will get my uh, knitting basket here. And um, the yarn I'm going to show you is a ball. I have I'm ha have knitted a lot already. So I only have a, a few balls left, which are these. And I hope. Yeah, and it's and the the unspun yarn is this one, and um, the special yarn. And I am looking for the ball band because I have one ball band left. It's a, a Noro yarn, and the. The reason why it's special to me, it's the Noro and it's called Seku. So here's the bag. The reason why this yarn is special to me is it belonged to my mother. It's the last yarn she bought for herself. And she was started a project and I don't uh, know anymore what kind of project she started. But yeah. Uh, I wanted to, uh, my mother died uh, uh, long ago and I uh, wanted to keep it and knit something with it that would be very special. But it's in my stash for a very long time and so uh, when I was looking through my stash and particularly uh, in my uh, stash of Nutiden, I saw that it would be a lovely combination with the wine red Nutiden. Because uh, it's so such a colorful yarn, normally I would not um, knit with something like this because it just not fits me. So uh, my uh, my aesthetic, but the way uh, I knit it now, it fits me. Okay, it will be a, a, bit, a bit more bright at the, at this stage, I think, because yeah, it was sunny and when I don't. Uh, uh, put something over the window it will be too much sun in the background and I don't like that but uh, yeah it's getting a bit too dark so I decided uh, to remove it and so you will have a bit more natural of I will have a bit more natural light I was talking about I was going to show you uh, about my uh, knitting project so uh, let me uh, tell you what I'm knitting on and uh, a lot of you will probably know this pattern because when you are on Pinterest, no, not on Pinterest, on Ravelry, there are a lot of people who already knitted this uh, pattern. It's the Ranunculus. It is a pattern by uh, Midori uh, Hirose, a pattern from 2017. And yeah, if you go and watch on Ravelry, uh, you will see there are so many variations of this pattern, so um, yeah, and mine will be one of them. Because um, I showed you the yarn and I uh, will put on a, a bit of the footage I took from from the, the uh, ranunculus I am knitting. 
And I will also stand up a little and show you what it looks like, look like if looks like if I held it in front of me. So here it is, and uh, as you can see, it's it's a uh, yeah. It feels like if I watch it on the, on the, the little screen, it's you see the the stripes very well, but. If I uh, watch from it uh, while knitting, then it's uh, much more subtle. So uh, yeah, I uh, already, as you can see, knitted the sleeves, the and uh, knitted uh, I am knitting on the body. And the reason why I already knitted the sleeves is because I want to make it into a dress, because I have these balls left and I also have this plate and another plate left and I think it will be enough to knit this out into a dress and I would like to pre uh, I, uh, prefer that so let's move a bit <laughs> to you again um, so yeah this is uh, my ranunculus and I I really really enjoy uh, the way it is li like now I'm knitting it on um, let's just I know these are called um, have another name in uh, in the US but in Europe it's called Knit Pro Symphony wooden needles and I knitted uh, the neckline and the sh short rows on the 4.5 millimeter needles and I'm knitting the rest on 5.5 and I uh, one uh, thread of I'm combining one thread of the Noro with one thread of the Newton and I believe I find it to be a very nice drapey fabric so and I think it would make a nice winter dress so yeah this is my uh, knitting project and uh, I really enjoy knitting on it and I uh, do have one week left of my uh, Christmas holidays so um, I probably will be finishing uh, it before I have to go to work again at least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, so this is what uh, all I wanted to talk about uh, for this episode. Leaves me with wishing you a very nice uh, day. If you like this uh, short episode, give it a thumbs up. If you want to uh, see more of my episodes, uh, sub uh, consider to subscribe. For now, this is it. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.